Hello, in this video we will discuss about the allergic rhinitis. The short for AR for allergic rhinitis. So it is global health concern where it affects approximately 400 million people worldwide. And this is the allergic uh, rhinitis due to the allergic cause and the stimulation of the immune cells which that will be severe lead to cause death even. So increase due to increased urbanization and environmental pollutants though uh, thought to be some of the leading cause uh, disease. So in this video we will understand about the whole concept about the allergic rhinitis and the immune stimulation the immune cell our activation as well as the our stimulation lead to inflammation so let's begin to understand first number one is here is the allergen so the allergen can be smoke pollen dust and virus when inhaled during the seasonal change or something so this is the person content trachea and lungs trachea content tracheal uh, Convert into the bronchiole and uh, alveoli into the air sac. Air sac is the respiratory unit. So let's begin to understand air sac. This is air sac and the blood vessel, pulmonary blood vessel. And when the enter allergen will damage the epithelial cell, remember, and also invade into the blood circulatory system. So anyhow, after the invasion, this uh, allergen into the blood circulatory system, into the blood vessel, and it will also cause the inflammation more. But remember the infection, the invasion of this allergen or contact with the epithelial cell, nasal epithelial cell, will lead to cause the infection and immune cell in activation and inflammatory mediators will uh, cause the disturb and disrupted the epithelial barrier will lead to cause allergen inside move when move into the inside go into the blood circulatory system and also the antigen representing cell example is dendritic cell or macrophage which that recognize this antigen this allergen and after the recognition this dendritic cell will go into the lymphatic system the lymph node the lymphatic system so the lymphatic system contain lymph as well as the leukocyte so after this go into the lymph node where the naive cd4 t cell are present so remember and the recognition of this through a uh, through a antigen representing cell through a MSC class a one molecule and in this way the naive CD4 T cell will be uh, recognized and detect and proliferate into the T helper one cell for prevent this allergic reaction and the immune stimulation but in this case the allergic rhinitis the problem is that the T helper two cell will be uh, proliferate also but the T helper 1 cell will be not more so the deficiency of the T helper 1 cell and T regulatory cell so the T helper 2 cell will be stimulate the uh, T helper 2 cell to produce the cytokines and in this way the interleukin 12 and interferon gamma and this T helper 2 cell will recognize the antigen through naive B cell and naive B cell will proliferate and this is the recruitment system is the interleukin 12 and interferon gamma for rec recruitment of the naive B cell and the naive B cell will proliferate into the plasma cell and B memory cell and plasma cell produce the uh, uh, immunoglobulin E the antibody E this antibody uh, will be target to the mast cell or basophil. But in this case, the basophil not target, but basophil stimulate via a T helper 2 cell. But the mast cell contain FC portion of the immunoglobulin bind with the FC receptor. And the receptor-like structure will be formed. And in this way, the 
and antigen the pollen or allergen will bind with the mast cell and will lead to degranulation by the cascade of phosphorylation of the intracellular uh, signaling the second messenger uh, second signal uh, second uh, signal which that will be secondary signal inside will lead to degranulation and in this with the pre release histamine but not histamine only but a lot of type of the chemical so the vasoconstriction will be occur by the general cell of body when bind for example any type of the cell vasoconstriction bronchospor constriction of blood vessel mucus secretion and coughing and sneezing as well as flu so this is the histamine property but a lot of the mediators will be released a lot of mediators will trigger the different complication let's begin to understand for example release of mediator within the 1 minute as well as within the 4 to 6 hours so first we will discuss about within the 1 minute what is the reaction will occur histamine tryptase kinase and the kino kinogenase heparin prostaglandin d2 and sulf uh, sulfido uh, pep the dial and leukokinin kinds this is production uh, within the one minute while the four to six hour the chemo kinds and cytokines example interleukin 3 uh, 4 and 5 which that recruit the further immune cell due to the cause inflammation more severe so the in the in the one minute within the one minute early phase response in this with the mucus edema mucus hypersecretion and the sensory sensory nerve stimulation will occur and in this way the sympathetic nervous system activation will lead to coughing and more complication and the acute allergic symptoms will be arise and the, and the sensing the sensing rhinorrhea and nasal obstruction and nasal itching uh, and ocular symptoms can be uh, feel so in this way here is you can see this is the late phase response is the uh, in, in infiltration of the inflammatory cells example is the t cell is no fields basophils neutrophils and monocytes and it will trigger the chronic allergic symptoms in this way the basically is the uh, uh, nasal secretion of the mucus will be uh, occur and on the other hand there is a lot of problems this is due to the allergic rhinitis so this was the overview of the mechanism of the immune response as well as the uh, allergic rhinitis uh, mediators will lead to cause problem so the sign and symptom is the non nasal and nasal symptom non nasal first we will discuss here the ocular symptoms the eyes in this way the eyes will be secrete the watery material and such as rhino con conjunctivitis will occur in this way the uh, secretion of the L L from the um, secretion in the eyes will move into the nose and the itching of uh, palate and cough while the nasal symptom is the rhinorrhea sneezing nasal blockage and itching of the nose let's begin to understand the diagnostic uh, criteria first is the blood test for immunoglobulin e and skin test for changes of the skin due to the ra uh, allergic rhinitis and blood pressure test due to a uh, vasoconstriction and the temperature test if the fever can be possible so the treatment is basically mask usage due to the seasonal allergy antihistamine drug and anticoagulants so remember this is the also genetic and some people have but some people not so that is why but the allergic rhinitis will basically the progression of the allergic reaction into the allergic rhinitis that is a severe case and which that will lead to cause the chronic allergic symptoms thanks for watching if you like this video please make sure to subscribe like and share and see in the next video thanks for watching bye